Hey guys, right at the outset, I have to tell you, Bear is okay, he's doing well. Come on, little puppy. Good boy. Look at, <laughs> look at his giant face. Clean your face, you're on camera. He isn't going traveling. This isn't his neck pillow. This is his anti-lick his incision pillow. Basically, he can't turn around all the way with this because it's so big that if he wants to lick himself, he just can't. He's been wearing this for the last week. He's pretty comfy with it and used to it by now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off for the video because I can watch him right now and make sure he doesn't lick anything that he's not supposed to except me. The surgery that he had was, you may have guessed it, he was neutered. Snip snip for poor little bear. There is a few reasons why I decided to get bear neutered, but uh, that wasn't an easy decision. I actually went back and forth a few times. First of all, bear has a snaggle tooth. I don't know if anyone has seen it. He has this snaggle tooth and I was kind of worried if it would bother him long term. So I thought, you know, let's do two birds, one stone type situation get him neutered, and while he's under anesthesia, they can A, clean his teeth, and B, get the tooth out. However, when this little guy went under anesthesia, they did x-rays, and they found that he has an extra canine tooth. Barry, you have three canines. If you're wondering, the canine tooth is this bottom tooth right here, the big one, and he literally has an extra one that's growing outward. When the doctor did the x-rays, it seemed like the, the roots were so interconnected with all the other teeth that by taking it out, there may be damage done to the other teeth. She was worried about that. So she explained that since he's eating well, there's no pain, there's no discomfort. They decided to keep the tooth in. <laughs> so Bear is still having his three canines. The pros to neutering a dog really come from a, it changes their behavior for the better slightly. For male dominant dogs, there's decreased marking, decreased humping, decreased reaction to females in heat. Bear didn't have any of those really issues. I mean, occasionally when he would see a female dog, he would get really excited. He's not aggressive in any way. He's super friendly. Then I started looking and doing research on what would be the pros from a health standpoint for Bear. I have to say at the outset of this, I'm not a vet. I am a medical doctor, although some people have gotten that confused in the past. Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> the things that I found were mainly from quality research and speaking with some really experienced dog trainers, veterinarians, things like that. So if you're thinking about neutering your dog, don't neuter your dog simply because your dog is doing something that you don't like and you think that's gonna be a cure-all. Train your dog. I think for controlling the pet population in general, it's a good idea, but you shouldn't be using it as a cure-all for some behavioral issue unless it's specifically recommended to you by a veterinarian and or a trained behavioral specialist for dogs. Now, Bear never really had any issues. He was attacked one time, and that's a crazy video. I'll link that down below. But in general, he's a happy noob. He loves playing with other dogs. Lately, I haven't been letting him play with dogs because I'm trying to get him ready for his certification to come with me to the hospital. And we want Bear to be well-trained for that. So I haven't been letting him play with too many puppies in the dog park, mostly just Roxy when she comes to visit or he goes to visit her. There's a lot more health benefits for spaying a female dog than neutering a male dog like there are decreases in some cancers for male dogs like testicular prostate issues but in reality not too many health benefits there are certain studies going around saying that dogs who are neutered live longer I take those studies with a grain of salt because dogs that have been neutered generally get better veterinary care they have owners that are attentive to them it's no surprise that they live longer at least there's evidence that they don't live a shorter life because some people have said that like oh my god you're gonna take away the testosterone that means dogs are gonna live a, a shorter life Life. That's not true. We have evidence of that, at least. My main reason why I wanted to neuter Bear is if I travel and I'm gone for a day or two and I leave Bear with my dad or a friend, I don't want the possibility of Bear becoming a baby daddy. You are the father! I don't want to pay doggy child support when he impregnates a little chihuahua. Hey, hey, hey. So we got Bear fixed primarily for that reason. He's doing great after the operation. He's like a happy new... He's healing well. Did you get hiccups on camera? Oh, yes, hiccups. Oh my God, Dad, you have to show the footage of him when he was a little baby having hiccups on my lap. He has hiccups. Growing pups always have hiccups. That's not new, so that doesn't even concern me. If you have any questions about what it's like to get your dog neutered, or you're wondering whether you should, drop a comment down below. I'm not a vet, but I can share my own personal experiences and things that I found online. Bear, are you excited to open up some mail? <laughs> 
Good boy. Wow, he went in my face for that. Good boy. Speak. <laughs> High five. Whoa, that was close. You almost hit me right in the face. Ooh, this one's from Family. Okay, it's something dense. It's a burrito tortilla blanket for adults and kids. <laughs> Wrap me in this burrito. It looks so funny, look at it. So you can be all wrapped up for the upcoming winter season, Casey. Oh. This is a big one from Revive Drinkware. Dr. Mike. First off, you need to know that because of your first morning routine video, I've started diligently floss every day. Well done. Thank you so much for the content you're producing for all of us. I honestly cannot fully express how incredibly helpful I find to have such an immediate and entertaining resource for varying healthcare topics. Well, thank you for that, Madeline. And let's see what we got here. First, we got a stainless steel mug. Oh! Stay happy and healthy. Look at that. And ready? Bam! This is fire. Well, let's see what the other one is. She got two. In case I need to go for a walk slash run. Dude, this is way too good. Even the font you chose is better than something. <laughs> Madeline, you're good. Okay, we got a shirt. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Oh, B, Q, R, S, T. I don't get it. Only doctors slash nurses slash health professionals will get this. This is a P wave. That's a Q wave, R wave, S wave, T wave. I'm gonna wear this one day to work when I'm just coming in to do notes. And I'm telling you, my hospital is gonna go bonkers for it. This is hilarious. Well done. Yannika Nix from the Netherlands. Artwork inside, careful. Oh, I feel like a kid on Christmas. And Christmas is coming up. Bear inside. At least I'm not cutting myself with that letter opener like I did last time. Ah! Hi, Dr. Mike. Hopefully the bear pup has made it to your doorstep safely. I hope you liked the drawing. I wanted to thank you for your way of practicing medicine. Patient, understanding, and looking at the bigger picture is important for both the patient and the doctor. I thank you for saying that. Oh, this is crazy. Bear, this is you. Oh my God. No, don't lick it. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. <laughs> this is just... It's next level. This is gonna be a main attraction in my home. This is ridiculous, thank you. Naomi Bishop from Wyoming. Ooh, the Dio symbol with Dr. Mike on it. I love that. Ooh, it's a little canvas. <laughs> this is too adorable. Monet, Roxy, and Bear. Naomi, you crushed it. This is from Carol ah. Serenity. Oh, <laughs> Serenity, get it? Bear, catch. You really had to draw the herpy. <laughs> this is really good. That's really sweet. Hey Mike, I am Harith Me Pagala, and I'm a great fan of your videos and your amazing mentor. I'm pre-med at UMD. If I could receive an autograph, it would mean a lot to me, only if you get some time. Aw, that's awesome. We'll do. Dear Dr. Mike, my name is Romanian. I'm 32 from Germany. And I'm sending you a drawing of you and Bear. I wanna say thank you for the great YouTube channel. It's funny, informative, and I really enjoy watching it. I'm not healthy because I have cancer, but I try and stay happy no matter what. Drawing is my daily healthy drug that helps keep me happy. And of course, watching you and Bear on YouTube. So thank you, and I hope you like my drawing. Wow. That's great. Last but not least. <gasps> it's a bacteria. No, it's a mitochondria. Powerhouse. Power house. This is hilarious. I love giant microbes. Thank you for the <laughs> mitochondria. Check out a playlist of Bear and Roxy videos right here. I love playing with these pups and I know you're gonna enjoy it.